Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in this morning. So this morning we got a, a real special trailer we want to walk you through. This is actually going to be one of our display trailers at the upcoming National Western Stock Show. So we wanted to video it, put it out there for you. But if you're at, in Denver for the show, definitely come by the booth, visit with us, walk through this trailer, walk through other ones. We can show you what we have on order. We can sit down and custom build something for you as well. But behind me is a 2022 Cimarron Steerwalt Signature Series. This is a 30 foot air ride trailer. In the cattle world, this is by far our most popular seller. This is a very well equipped and meets all the features and benefits that everyone's looking for when we're hauling these show cattle all over the country. So before we kind of jump into walking you through and showing you everything, we're going to show you the drawing of this trailer, kind of give you some specs on it. Like I mentioned, 30 foot on the floor. That's by far our most popular setup right now. A six foot front tack room. So we have a 24 foot stall area. It's eight foot wide, it's six four tall. But again, this 30 footer, that's the one that everyone kind of is, is really sought after. Obviously we can build some different sizes in these setups, but when we kind of jump in and start talking about the air ride, I'll, I'll explain to you why 30 foot has become the most popular. This trailer has evolved over the years. So when it first started, it started out with a four, uh, four foot front tack room, and then it was 28 foot on the floor. That was kind of the go-to. So we had four foot front tack, 24 stall area, but now we've kind of extended the trailer a little bit. There's a few things here before we kind of really get into the tack room and stall area. <clears throat> you can see this enclosed front end. My opinion, it really dresses this trailer up. Also, it keeps everything nice and clean behind it. And then we've done a few things underneath here. Single leg electric over hydraulic jack. It does have a manual override. So if we get in a, a pinch emergency situation, getting it on or off the truck, we can physically lift it on or off with the pump itself. But boy, it's real handy on these bigger trailers, especially if you load a lot of equipment and have equipment that goes to the show and then you've got equipment in the barn where you're not unloading it. You know, it's a little heavier, so it's nice to be able to just push the button up and down it goes. The other thing is, is that you're backing up to it. Um, you know, if you got somebody guiding you, even if it's, you know, a younger, younger exhibitor that's going with you, it's real easy for them to reach up, hit the button and drop it right on the truck when you get backed underneath it. Uh, so just real handy from that standpoint there. If you notice, we moved the, the spare tire to the right of that. And the reason why is you've got some generator brackets right here. So you can throw a portable generator in there, strap it down. I'll show you the power package we put on it here in a little bit. Uh, but that way, when you get to the show, you can fire that up, open this up so we get plenty of airflow through here. Uh, you know, these portable generators, they need airflow as well. So it does not work when we have this rolled down. You know, we've got to get air to it. We've got to get that exhaust out of there. So set that portable gin there, fire it up when you get to the show. If you're showing off of it, I'll show you the outlets and power we put to this as well. And then we put these four hooks here for you. So. You know, we understand that you're hauling big cords, big hoses, items like that. This is a great place to hang those. We've got a aluminum battery box right here. So we've just got a single battery in this one because really all we're doing is operating our air ride system and some interior lights. But standard on 22 models is that battery disconnect up there. So if we happen to leave a light on, we go to unhook this trailer at a show. When we get home, we can reach up, turn that off, and it kills all power to this trailer. So we're not draining a battery. That's when you either have to pump it onto the truck by the jack or plug it in or put a charger on it. You know, we can go ahead and kill that. That is standard now in these hydraulic jacks on the 22 models. And over to the right, there is that onboard compressor for the air ride system. You don't have to have a source from the truck, anything like that. It's all right there. Very simple to use. On, off, raise, lower. You turn it on roll it to the raised position and you drive down the road. Real important when you're shutting it off to turn off the, the actual switch itself, roll it to the lower position and then clear the lines with this cable underneath because air can create condensation, which can freeze, crack a line, and then we have an air leak and then the system doesn't work as properly as it should. But a really good setup right here. Again, we can roll this down. Also, we put a light underneath here because 
our cargo or our cab light is actually blocked you know by the front of the truck when we're hooking up so we put one of these 16 inch awning lights it shoots off of this lights up this whole area you can hook it up have some light coverage there so a little feature that we went ahead and put this on now if you watch a lot of our videos we talk about these newer trucks getting taller and taller with their bed height and that becomes an issue when we're trying to make a trailer run level and have adequate bed clearance so standards 50 inches we usually go with a 53 inch for that reason on this trailer this is a 50 inch so this is standard and the reason why is we're dealing with 17 five wheels and tires so a taller tire but then also air ride so when we air this trailer up it's going to pick it up two and a half inches so we don't run into near as many bed you know issues and keeping the trailer running level on these because of the air ride because of the taller tires so that's that's something there we did one more thing before we walk away from this nose these button lights led button lights are standard now for our marker lights but we went ahead and added a couple on the front of this kind of dress it up if you want a lighted sign with your farm name a brand anything like that they can be added to these there's actually uh, a really cool sign that comes with real heavy UHM, uh, uh, excuse me, 3M tape. Once it's on there, it's pretty much on there. But all we have to do is drill a little hole for power. It actually goes right on. We attach it into the marker lights and you got a lighted sign. So we can add those after the fact for you as well. But as you see, following that top line, we added quite a few marker lights to this trailer. You know, they're about every three foot apart. It really, I mean, this trailer really jumps at nighttime. I mean, we've had some customers go in and add button lights to their custom build trailers every foot, every two foot. We've matched them on the bottom rail. You know, we can do all of those type of items here. We went with the black sheeting on this trailer. Uh, that's probably by far the most popular color. Uh, it works really well with a lot of these newer trucks. You know, you, you see a lot of black incorporated, a lot of black wheels on the truck. So it works really well with this. But now as we get to this tack room, you'll notice we have a ramp coming in on passenger side, and then there's a man door that I'll show you on driver's side. I've got that closed right now just because of the wind that we're dealing with today, but this is so handy from the standpoint of us bringing our upright show boxes, fan carts, blower carts, maybe another bigger portable generator, those type items we can just wheel up. You know, we're not having to lift them up and over. And then what we found is, again, as these trailers have evolved, we went from a four foot front tack, then we went to a five foot. Now we're at a six. Obviously we can build these about any size you want, but the six customer feedback has been phenomenal. They say everything fits better. I mean, these are customers that have had a five foot front tack and have gone to this six. They say everything just fits better in these trailers. We all know it's like Tetris when we're trying to get everything in these that we're taking to a show but our upright boxes, you know, again, those blower carts, fan carts, everything just fits a little bit better in these six footers. Couple cool things we've done in this one. We've done this rubber kind of, you know, tread floor to it. This is a newer one. You know, a lot of times we just do the rubber mat, but we've done that on the floor. We've done that on the gooseneck drop wall, and then we've done it up on the deck as well. So it's got a lot of grip to it, real easy to clean. And that again, customer feedback. <laughs> One customer said, my wife is tired of crawling up in the nose with a, with a vacuum and cleaning out the carpet when we're done to a show. This is a lot simpler, sweep it out. So we've done that over here to the left, 30 amp breaker package. So we have power to this trailer. I'll show you when we get in the stall area where we've got some outlets for you but now we've actually got a breaker and power on board to this so we're doing a lot of showing off the trailers this is real handy from that standpoint there or you're tying out you want to maybe run some fans maybe you want to run some clippers anything like that we can do that what is this big box over here to the right well this can hold four 24 inch fans motor down so what we do is we we put them again motor down slide them up front I always tell people it's it's a good thing to maybe keep a you know an old show stick or the show sticks that you're carrying for the show kind of in this area because you'll be able to grab the first two probably by hand right here but then those clear up in the nose you can actually just hook cages and pull them towards you so again we get those up off the deck 
so they're not bouncing around. The air ride makes a massive difference in that, but it actually gives some longevity and life to those, those fans themselves, not beating up those coils near as bad. So that's a nice little feature right there. We've gone in because it, it kind of blocks this one side. We've gone in and added an LED light over there to the left. We wanted to get you some more light coverage in there. We put lights over both doors. This right here is for just a closed bar so you can hang clothes. If you need to send an exhibitor in, you know, change shirt, get ready for, the, for their class that's coming up, everything's right here. We also did this 18 inch boot box. We only did it partial way across this trailer. Again, uh, just giving you a little bit more room on this side, but it's nice, it's deep, it's wide, great for small miscellaneous items, but also it works as a good step if you are jumping up into this neck. Now, because of that enclosed front end, this nose is nine foot, standards eight two, so this one's a lot deeper, so you can get a lot of stuff in these trailers from that standpoint. And then if we look over here to the, we've carpeted this entire partition wall, You'll notice this airliner track with some hooks. We can get more hooks, but this is a great place again to put something against, ratchet, strap it down so it's not moving around for you. A set of utility hooks, big hooks that go all the way across here. They're wide, they're deep. Instead of the old traditional bridle hooks, Simron's done a really good designing these, so we understand, again, those bigger cords, bigger hoses, those type items need a little bit more you know, depth to them when we're actually hooking them. So you've got that there. This is a cast aluminum piece, powder coated, it's fantastic. And then we've got a brush tray up above that I'll show you. That is for our plexiglass. If you wanna take that out, that's a great place to store it as well. It's up out of the way, that's kind of wasted space. Again, customer feedback. When we're dealing with these dual entries, you know, normally we have our switches for these front tack rooms on the side of the man door. Well. What happens is a lot of times we're trying to actually come in this door to unload some stuff. Well, then I got to go all the way around. So we've incorporated a second switch. So we have one by the man door and then one right inside this ramp. We wanted it up out of the way so nothing bumps into it over here. But real nice to be able to either way you're accessing coming into this front tack room, you can turn the light on. And it is a lower profile trailer. We got head pads here. It does happen. You will hit your head. You only do it a few times, but that makes a world of difference when we have those pads on there. These are real easy to open and close. Cimarron's done a great job with the springs on them. You know, even again, your younger exhibitors, very easy to, to open and close. And then they can actually lock as well, so we can lock up this tack room there. We put in one of those 16 inch awning lights right above the tack room door and then one above your side ramp going into the stall area. Now, we kind of mix up, uh, as far as inventory in these trailers, kind of some options. So sometimes you'll notice this ramp is further forward. <laughs> this one here, we shifted back a little bit. Uh, just, again, kind of some customer feedback. Some people really like to be able to just walk in with the calves and then just take them to the right and tie them up and then just walk off to the left very easily. But having these side ramps going into the stall area are just fantastic. You're gonna be loading, offloading cattle here probably 90% of the time. Again, a pad coming in for you. And then as we get into these again, let's, let's kind of go back to uh, you know, that 28 foot, four foot front tack, 24 stall area. That original trailer had one traveling gate that basically went about 10 feet was all. And then we had a fixed gate, 9-3 off the back of the trailer. So we couldn't move that gate. But 9-3 is so we could put a eight foot chute behind it. It would fit with the wheels and the handles right inside there. But we noticed that when we were building trailers for customers, time and time again, whenever we were doing a custom build, they wanted two traveling gates, which totally makes sense. I mean, this is a completely custom trailer. We understand you need to manipulate stall sizes. Maybe you have a cow-calf pair you want to separate. Maybe you have a bull you need to separate. You know, young heifers, older heifers, anything like that. Now we can manipulate these with two traveling gates. We run it clear to the back, a couple feet off the back. But now we've got the ability to set stall sizes all we want. So we've got one gate towards the back of the trailer right now. 
And then we've got the other one actually up against the partition wall. So you can actually store both gates completely up front, have one giant stall. The way we have it set up right now, there's two stalls. We can incorporate the second traveling gate and then we have three stalls. But again, we can set them every foot. So I'm gonna show you on this front one up here. So on this one here, we did two 48 inch swings with no threshold. So you notice cattle don't have to worry about stepping over anything. We've also reversed hinged, you know, on most of our stock trailers, we're used to gates hinging off of passenger side, swinging against that direction. Well, we're usually loading off the, loading and unloading off the back of the trailer. Well, now we're coming off this right hand side. So instead of having cattle have to work around this gate coming on and off, you know, now it's real easy for them to walk in, walk off. These gates swing both directions. So really easy to use. And again, to move these around. So once we have it broke loose, as long as you kind of stay about in the middle, just kind of balance it, you can see it just glides right back. Now, there's, you'll notice there's a couple different, we have these upright side posts, and then where you have door frames and wheel wells, there's a little bit wider posts, so we have a notch in those. These gates can fit on every single option here, but on these guys here, we go ahead and set them into the notches themselves. But that just took, what, just a couple minutes there to go ahead and lock it into place. And now again, we've got two stall areas. So it's fantastic from that standpoint of doing whatever you want to in the stall area. Because we understand you're gonna be, things change maybe from year to year. You know, you're showing different species, different breeds, you know, those type of items there we can, we can also incorporate as well. You know, if you're doing some smaller species because of the notches that we have for the wheel wells on these gates, we can build fold down covers that'll just flip down and make it more of a square. So once you're not in a wheel well area, uh, you know, we don't have anything trying to get underneath there, get their head underneath there as well. So there's a lot of that stuff we can incorporate. But I want you to also notice animal safety. Everything's got a radius to it. We've tapered the wheel wells in this trailer. It only makes sense. You know, let's try to avoid any sharp, ang you know, sharp 90 degree angles, anything like that. Let's try to make it nice and smooth. Some customers will actually go in there and, and rubber mat that as well. That's an option that can be done on these trailers. Pretty much the sky's the limit on, on what we can do to these, these trailers themselves. So we have that 30 amp power package that I mentioned. Um, what we've done is, is we've got the ability to come in here, put the power to this trailer. That way you can run some blowers, some carts, you know, run some clippers, anything like that. The other cool thing in here is we have tie rails, high and low. So again, we can tie cattle up if we need to, we can tie, tie cattle down. On these air rides, they'll lay down like they're in the barn. So you've got the ability to go ahead and keep them down low as well. It also protects this big opening that I'll show you when we get to the outside. Insulated roof is standard on every single Cimarron. So it does not matter if it's a small bumper pole, big living quarters, this air ride trailer, something like that. We have this insulated roof that's standard. It keeps a stall area about 20% cooler compared to an aluminum sheeted roof. It'll take substantial hail, but more importantly, keeping our cattle nice and cool when we're traveling, especially in the summer months. We do have two-way roof vents, so we can manipulate airflow. Uh, air always tries to find an escape route, so when we're opening these and forcing air down, you know, a lot of times it's good to have these open because it's gonna force the air down and out the side of the trailer uh, because you think about it, chest floor on a calf is their radiator. We're trying to keep them cool, keeping that airflow, you know, moving helps quite a bit. Think about it when it's a real hot day, no wind, you know, it's hot. That little bit of a breeze or a little bit of air movement helps, makes you feel a lot better as well. But just a real fantastic setup in here. Uh, again, same thing, you know, a lot of times we have switches on the back of this trailer. Well, let's run our interior lights and our load lights on this passenger side from right here. So if we just walk back here, we can literally reach in, turn these on and off. So another just small feature that we've gone in and done over the years, you know, we're always trying to make them better for you. 
that's a lot of us just looking at them, thinking things through, discussing it, but also visiting with customers as well. You'll notice in this ramp that there's these two kind of cutouts. Well, those are notches as well. So if I wanted to set that gate in the middle of this ramp, I can do that. Now, when I break it loose from, from the side of the trailer here, you know, that gate will be attached over there, but it'll be somewhat loose on this side here. So you just have to keep that in mind, but it just gives you another option. That's, that's about a four foot space there where normally we couldn't set that gate. Well, now we can. Again, real easy to open and close. Exact same setup so we can lock it just like the tack one. So now if you look at that lower air gap, we have two air gaps up high with plexiglass and then this fold down aluminum slat. Majority of the time, the lower slat's the one you're gonna be opening and closing on a consistent basis. It's real easy to do. You can literally run out of the truck. You leave in the morning, have it sealed up if it's, if it's really cold. As the day warms up, make a quick stop, run around the trailer, open them up. So you get a bigger air gap compared to if it was the, the plexiglass uh, air gap here. It's a little bit narrower by the way the extrusion stacks together. So now with this aluminum slat, bigger air gap, get more airflow, but again, real easy to use uh, as far as operation goes. Plexiglass slides right out. There's a, again, we've got that storage tray up front and then tie rails. So for tying off this trailer, we've got a tie rail high, we've got one low. Now we kind of break it up a little bit with the, the wheels themselves, the wheel well, the ramps, but there is some lower tie rails. We can go in and add uh, a tie rail that actually goes over the wheel well area as well. It actually attaches to the current ones. So that can be built and added after the fact. This is a small feature, but we really like doing this on our bigger trailers, especially eight foot wide trailers, this amber turn signal. And the reason why is these are longer trailers. A lot of people don't pay attention to us. You know, there's a pretty good distance from the back of this trailer to here, to the back of your truck. So if somebody's kind of in this area, you turn your turn signal on, it'll flash. When you hit your brakes, it'll indicate. And it also works as an extra, just marker light on this bigger trailer here. So small feature that we've gone in and added on these bigger, wider trailers. Now, like I mentioned, air ride suspension, but you'll also notice this trailer is spread axle. So we have a 12 inch spread on this trailer. A spread axle will help with weight distribution. It'll take off some tongue weight. <clears throat> you incorporate spread axle with air ride. This trailer pulls phenomenally well. I mean, it's a 30 foot, you can load it up and you probably won't notice there's much back in here. Uh, it does, again, helps with that tongue weight, helps with the way it rides, but the air ride, the air ride is a game changer. Your cattle will step off this trailer fresh. Again, they'll lay down like they think they're in the barn. You know, we're traveling long distances. We spend a lot of money, a lot of time on these animals. This is a small investment if you think about the miles, the shows, the amount of cattle that you're going to haul with this trailer. Yes, there is an uh, initial charge for the air ride upgrade, but I can tell you, we won't have one of these trailers sitting on the lot without it in inventory on a brand new one. Because guys want them, they understand. It's a great system. It's actually a rubber torsion axle with a shock kit. So if something does happen to the air ride system, that compressor, one of the lines, one of the bags, it'll set down in rubber torsion axles. You can drive down the road. The old air ride systems, you were stuck. You couldn't go anywhere. So on this one here, again, you, you will be pleasantly <laughs> surprised. Uh, a lot of customers, one of the most common things I hear from them is I'll never own another one without air ride. That's how much they believe in it and how much it has just helped. You can actually peel off maybe an extra day of, of travel uh, from the standpoint of recovery time. Maybe you can peel off some hotels, some extra meals, extra labor, uh, anything like that. Again, Take that into consideration when you are looking to build one or if you're looking at like something like this in inventory, uh, if you're looking at that air ride cost. So again, that spread axle, I think it just, it's a cool look, it's different. Uh, that's one of the other things I think a lot of people like about it. 17 and a half inch Alcoa wheels. We upgraded the Alcoas and these are Continental 18 ply tires. You have massive running gear underneath this trailer. They're 8,000 pound axles. The reason why 30 foots becomes so popular is, is this is where we're comfortable putting two 8Ks 
if we go any bigger on this trailer, we'll probably want to upgrade to larger axles. That means more cost. It also means more wheel well on the inside of the trailer. When you go to nines and tens, they set deeper in, so we don't have as much floor space. And again, between the wheel wells, it gets narrower. So we're good with the 8Ks in this 30 foot. That's why this has become so popular. We keep a loaded up option that you're looking at, and then we keep about two different options below that. So we try to hit, you know, kind of some different price points, but different options on them. But uh, every one of them in inventory right now is six foot tack, 24 stall, so a 30 foot, and of course, air ride suspension. When we get to the back here, we have our swing gate. This is kind of a newer feature right here is this actual slam latch. So as you can see, I've got it broke loose, but all I do is I release that. It's just more for safety. I like slam latches from a safety standpoint if we're really pushing a big amount of cattle in here, you know, just go ahead and shut it and then we can work our cam latch over and lock it. And then we also have a slider on the back. Because this trailer is eight foot wide, we've gone in, we've made this a 36 inch wide opening. We have more space here. We've got the ability to make this wider. So if you are loading and unloading, you know, fat steers, big bread heifers, bulls, things like that. Now we've got a little bit more opening there compared to the standard. The other thing too is, is Cimarron's gone in and upgraded this rubber bumper at the back. They used to carry a, a narrower one. Well, if we were to bump, you know, up to another trailer, to the slider gates to jump something across, we were getting into the hardware to where this is a, a, a deeper rubber bumper here, so we're not gonna run into that issue near as much. Two load lights here at the back. Those are eight inches at the back here. We've got light switches at the back as well. But again, on that, the interior and passenger side, we can go in that side ramp and turn those lights on and off. I've got these fold down slats down. I'll just go ahead and close them up, show you how easy it is. But then you also get a good look at this polished extrusion. Man, it's a sharp trailer. You don't want to acid wash the polish. What you want to do is you want to citrus wash. Acid will burn it. So it'll give it a smoky kind of hazy look to it and then you have to rebuff it. But on this here, again, a simple citrus wash, hand dry, does take a little bit more work, or hop in the truck and do 85 down the interstate for a little bit and let it air dry. That's what I prefer. You have an a, a access gate up here at the front with a fold up step, so it's real easy getting in and out. So if you do have to jump in, you can. The steps do make quite a bit of difference when we are getting in and out of these trailers. Now, I have this trailer aired down right now. And that's what I recommend to customers. When you're loading your tack, when you're loading your cattle, have this trailer aired down because it's lower to the ground and our, our ramps aren't as steep. We change the angles when we air it up. When we air it up, it'll pick it up about two and a half inches. So then all of a sudden it makes a bigger step and, and our ramp's actually steeper getting in and out. So you can have the air compressor on, have it built up, wait till we get everything loaded, roll it to the raised position, it'll kick back on, get, get somewhere to unload, just roll it to lower, let all that air get out of it, and then go ahead and offload everything. Up here on the front tack room, again, there is a man door. We, we kind of prefer having the ramp over on the passenger side. One is if you're showing off of it, our other ramps over there as well. I like it from a safety standpoint because Look, on the side of the road, if you have an issue, you got to get in there. That ramp is now curbside. It's not street side. This one's a little easier, kind of sneaking in and out if you need to, if you're in traffic. So real easy getting in and out with that additional step there. And we did a combo lock on this. So now we've got a combo lock. We can just punch in a code and lock this door. So you can send somebody to the trailer without a key, as long as this one is not locked. If it's just the combo lock, you can punch it in, open it up, and get in the trailer if you need to. So again, really well-equipped trailer. Um, we're really excited to, to go put this on display at Stock Show. We're actually gonna hook onto it and head it down there today. 
So if you're in, in the area, if you're in town for Stock Show, definitely come by and see us. Come put your hands on this trailer or look at what else we have. If you're interested in it, I'm gonna give you the stock number. Again, it's a 2022 Cimarron Steerwalt Signature Series, 30-foot air ride, five in, 211-010. So give us a call. Anybody on the sales team can help you out with this trailer. Look at what we have on order, looking at building you something. We can help you out completely with anything. Our number is 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.